go with the Outwater. I want to run you through the control on the Headhunter Tidal Wave HMX sewage treatment system. So let's take a look at it. So here is the home screen on the newest version software. The controls on the older version software are basically the same. It's just the graphics have a little bit different look to them. So, you know, essentially you can use this video as a guide for most of the touchscreen controls for HMX and they'll be the same. So first thing I want to point out, you have tank one, tank three. These are the chambers inside the treatment system itself, not the holding tank. If you look over here, the one that says holding tank, that's the actual holding tank in the boat. So that's where the heads are flushing to, and it then gets transferred from the holding tank over into chamber one and starts the treatment process. So if you look here at this, the status page, you can see what devices are running. You can see tank one levels, tank three levels, seawater pumps running, macerator pumps running, uh, right now the auto core's on, the different valves are off, and you can see that we have good seawater pressure there. Go back home, holding tank button, transfer pump control, this is really important. Here's the three-way switch. So you can send the sewage to the HMX, or you can set it directly overboard, or you can isolate the pump off. Now this switch here, extremely important, this switch needs to correspond with the three-way valve on your black water transfer pump, okay? Now one thing to bear in mind is when you have this switch, say for HMX, you're not necessarily going to see the holding tank pump running right away. What you're going to see is the transfer timer counting down. Once the transfer timer counts down, it's going to run your pump for a preset amount of time. The purpose of this timer is to slow down your black water transfer pump to 600 gallons per day in the case of this machine and to spread that 600 gallons per day over the course of 24 hours. And if you wanted to pump directly overboard, you would have to first switch the valves on your three-way valve to overboard, then switch this over to the overboard setting and you're gonna get a warning screen saying make sure you line up the valve to go with it. Hit okay, and you can see the pump turns right on. So we don't wanna do that right now because that's illegal. So we'll switch it back to HMX. Go back home. CL2 button, that's your chlorination source. So you can either run off your chem pump, which is gonna inject bleach, or you can run off the autochlor, which the machine will generate its own chlorine from the seawater. So uh, very nice function, but keep in mind, you need to be in salty water. You cannot be in brackish water and run the autochlor. You're gonna end up clogging the machine back. If we go look at the log, this is the alarm log page. It's going to tell you uh, what alarms you've had in the past. If they're a blue alarm, then that means the alarm has been uh, dealt with already and it's gone away. If the alarm is red, like in this case here, a red alarm means that state is still active and the machine is trying to uh, take care of that. SVC page, this is the service page. Backwash button, backwash your machine weekly. It's gonna save you a lot of trouble in the future. And all you gotta do is just hit the backwash button, uh, let the machine run for about an hour, come back, and turn the machine back into run mode. So if you look here at the service page, you also have these buttons here. Those are just some of the default parameters um, inside the, the touchscreen. Don't mess with any of those. I mean, really, we only use those when we first set up the system. Uh, as the user, you're never going to have to. So please don't touch any of those buttons. And if we go here to the hand page, this is a nice function. Um, this allows you to hand run each of the pumps and each of the components on the machine. So you know, it's good for diagnosing. You can run each component, see if it works. And also if you've been hauled out of the water or if the machine's been down for a while, you can go through and, and run every component before you fire the machine up and uh, make sure that all your components are functioning before you fire the whole system up. So that's a very nice function. Go back. And uh, of course the start and the stop button. 
and uh, I think that about covers it. So thank you.